Banana. Today's sponsor is Maximum Settings, a cloud-based gaming service where you won't need to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade your PC or a personal nuclear plant to boot up your system. Just do it! And for as low as 9.95 Canadian dollars a month, you can play the most recent games on your computer, even if your hardware isn't prepared. And if you don't play that much, well, you can just use the hourly system for as little as 0.35 Canadian dollars. Sign up today for your full Linux gaming PC with no resource sharing and start enjoying high-level gaming on any PC. Today we're looking at one of the most interesting features presented by ASUS. You're teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> Recently, they've shown a concept GPU called RTX 47 Megalodon that didn't need the well-known PCI power connections as it used the connection to the motherboard that made it work flawlessly and made the build look much cleaner. And I sincerely think that if well implemented, this is the way to go for future GPU generations. Well, not right now now, nah, 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 nah. but let's say in five years. And now Asus did it again. According to a video released by Tony Yu, general manager at Asus, there's already a working prototype of an RTX 4060 Ti with an inbuilt NVMe slot, meaning that you can use the unused 8 PCI lanes on that card with an NVMe, without any performance impact. And this is possible because nowadays most entry-level to mid-tier GPUs only feature 8 PCI lanes, meaning that even though your GPU PCI connector has 16 lanes, only 8 of them are wired internally on those cards, leaving the other 8 lanes free to use. And they just thought about it and made things happen. And if you're thinking about which GPUs only have 8 lanes or have 16 lanes, well, I believe it all started with the RX 5500 XT. Then AMD went on the same path with the RX 6600, 6600 XT, 6650 XT, and now with the RX 7600. Nvidia is also in the mix here, starting with the RTX 3050 and now expanding this to the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti as well. But having off the lanes can actually lead to lower performance overall, especially if you do not have a CPU or motherboard that support PCI Express 4. And even more, if you are in a VRAM limited scenario where you actually need that same bandwidth to do the VRAM refresh. You can see in this video passing right now on the screen that the RX 7600 already loses some performance when running in PCI Express 3. And this was with the Ryzen 7 7700X, meaning that with a slower CPU, the difference might even be higher in some scenarios. But since PCI Express 5 is also supported by the newest motherboards and CPUs, and will most likely be a feature of the next-gen GPUs, and of course with PCI Express 4 being the mainstream now, I guess this is where the market is heading. So Asus saw this as an opportunity to innovate and presented us an NVMe slot inbuilt in an RTX 4060 Ti, taking advantage of those same unused PCI lanes. Although this is not the first GPU with an inbuilt NVMe slot, as AMD had this years ago but implemented it on the Radeon Pro SSG GPU, based on the Vega architecture, but it had a different purpose and replacing the NVMe was, well, not as convenient. But this RTX 4060 Ti, on the other hand, does not only look cool, but also presents a super easy way to replace the NVMe drives. And since the heatsink sits directly above the NVMe slot, with thermal pads attached to the NVMe, the temperatures were actually 10 degrees lower compared to the same NVMe running on the motherboard slot. And that's one of the reasons why some newer motherboards moved the first NVMe slot next to the RAM slots. Temperatures something that with this solution brings you the best of both worlds. The usage of the unused PCI lanes and better NVMe temperatures. This all with a minimum performance decrease, something that won't be noticeable in real-world gaming or real-world scenarios, so great. And well guys, that's basically all for today's video. I do believe that Asus is bringing some really interesting things uh, with, um, with the Connect 
with a direct connection in terms of power draw to the motherboard so you don't need the PCIe the PCIe uh, connectors from the motherboard from the motherboard not from the PSU you just go there connect your GPU to the motherboard and you have all the power you need that's really really great of course there's the connection behind the motherboard where the PSU actually uh, connects so you have the connections on the motherboard and then you have the slot in the front of the motherboard where you connect the GPU okay the connections are there but at least you don't see them looks much cleaner and much cooler in my opinion if well implemented and now with this NVMe slot idea using the, um, the spare eight lanes that you have uh, on the newer GPUs because well companies actually want to cut costs of the production so they actually cut the the other eight lanes although it's like one or two cents maybe I don't really know I'm just uh, throwing throwing numbers to the air but It's not much, but they, well, companies just want money. That's what they want, being Nvidia, Intel, or AMD. All they want is money, so don't be fanboys. That's, that, that's just being idiot overall. Be a fan, but never be a fanboy, okay? Uh, and they actually are using, indeed, those same spare lanes that we have on the on the new uh, entry level to mid-tier GPUs and that's a very very good idea. It looks cool, it's easy to, to change or replace the, the NVMe and overall uh, you just have more lanes because the GPU isn't using them so why not use them with an NVMe? Great idea Asus. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this idea and uh, if you want to see this in all mainstream GPUs with only 8 PCI lanes. Now, uh, with PCI Express 5, I can actually see brands uh, decreasing the lanes of the mid-tier GPUs like the 700 series and so on uh, because it's PCI Express 5 and so on and they will most likely use this as well uh, with the other 8 lanes, I don't really know but I can see brands doing that, I don't want to see it happen but I can see them doing that, yeah. Thanks a lot one more time and see you in the next video. By the way, this is one of the Ancient Gameplay shirts uh, you can get one of these in the store in, with the links below. I believe they will happen. They will appear, sorry. So, yeah, it's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next video. This is like common sense. The more GPUs you buy, the more money you save. That's right. The more GPUs you buy, the more money you save. Just do it!